Hey everyone, uh, Jester Fox here, and this is gonna be a quick tutorial and how to do uh, triggers, how to do triggers and things in Halo in uh, Halo Master Chief Collection for uh, Halo 2 Anniversary. So now, uh, as an example, we've all been here at the bar. We know that gate, and we all know that it opens. But now there's a question: Can we get the close? Quick answer is yes. Yes, and I found out how. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. See, you can get it to open, but after that, that's just it. It's a one-way gate. Now, let me show you my personal map that has it where you can uh, close it. So this is a map I've made, and it's still a map in progress, but this is where I'm going to show you an example of how to do the open and closable things, as well as just, I don't know, any, th any type of awesome uh, cosmetic trigger effect like this. Beep. Then you can turn it back on and activate it again. It won't look as cool, but uh, you can. There's a lot of uh, a lot of things you can do with it. Like over here, this garage door. You make it open. And there you go, get into the vehicle depot. Make a close. Vehicle depot. And then there's these things. They don't really do much, but you can activate them to make them do other things. It's basically all this one does is show you that you can activate and deactivate it. Just keep opening and closing gates. And here we go, on down to the rest of the map. This trick is really good for machinima. And I don't know, if you wanted to create a map, you can put timers on it to determine how long they activate. So you can have doors just randomly opening and closing around. It'd be really damn, really uh, damn funny. Do a double gate. So there's a, just a lot of things you can do with these triggers and switches to just make a really cool cosmetic effect on. Uh, on everything around just make it just have everything look look and act pretty amazing like I was thinking about making a, a type of runner map where uh, you can make triggers on the ground where if you walk through them it'll, it'll open or close doors like with the uh, like it would do with the gates and everything but what it would do is uh, you'd run through it and then automatically it would drop a kill ball behind you and you start chasing you around that was an idea I had but for now, let's show you guys how to make these triggers where you can open and close, activate and deactivate them. And for that, we need to go to Forge. Alright, so now that we're in Forge, we go ahead and show you guys exactly how you need to do this. First, you need to go down to Gadgets and Map Gadgets. And you can choose any of these effects. Uh, down there in, the, down there in like the lower right, it'll give you a description. It says, Can Be Animated. Those are the ones you want to uh, do with this. So let's do a garage door. Do a garage door switch right next to it so it makes it look, I don't know, kind of coolish. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set off all this stuff with the push of a button. First things first is we got to choose a good, we have to go down to scripting and choose a broadcast channel. Let's do 63 because that's one I'm not using yet. Alright, now that we have everything set to the 63rd channel, you need to go to scripting down here and do switches. Triggers are the things that you walk through and activate it. Timers, I actually haven't been able to get to work yet. And then switches, there's the ones you want. Uh, you want on and off because toggle doesn't work. I've tried it. Toggle only toggles on or toggles off. Doesn't toggle both. So this actually works anywhere. Let's just put it out here. 
Let's put it right down here so I can activate it in uh, in, in normal form. Go to scripting, and you want to put that on the same channel as everything else. And trigger off. If you want to reactivate them. On the same channel. Alright. So this is how you activate all these scripted things for bases, machinima, or just plain old gameplay. Hold X to use. Sets those load, sets them off, that, activates this, this, everything that was on that channel exploded. Apparently I forgot this landmine. Or it just respawned really, really fast. And then, let's see. And then you got this one off, which redoes it. So what, you, what you'd want to do is put those switches in a place where they make sense. Like, yeah. Like, what I usually do is I put them either in the terminal or I put them in one of the switches laying around. Alright guys, so that's is how you activate switches in uh, Halo Master Chief Collection for Halo 2. As far as I can tell, it only works on the Halo 2 one. But, what you can do is make a lot of interesting maps. Ah. Apparently that activated them. I hope this guy helps you guys make an interesting map. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Keep your eyes open for more how-tos or uh, hints, because I'm always looking for for different ways I can help you guys out. This has been a Gesture Fox, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later on.